They bounced in front with Bless with reason. There's Elegancy quickly going around the outside. And the favourite ran to the front after a tardy getaway. Elegancy and moved out two lengths in front. Over Bless with reason second. Two then further back in the race sounds positive Scott up third. They're followed over on the inside by Codger Tate from top edition two then to Jeremiah. Further back in the race then Pride of Indian. Last of all off the back would have been Ben's Rocket. Down the side. Elegancy inside the 800. A length in front now from Bless with reason. Sounds positive for half away out three deep third. Two for the back top edition, Cogitate. One and a half, Jeremiah. Two then over on the inside is Pride of Indy and Ben's Rocket to the outside. On the bend, 500 to go. Elegancy in front, a length and a half in front now from Bless with Reason. He extended two lengths in front. Elegancy at the 400. Over Bless with Reason from Sounds Positive. Then Jeremiah and Ben's Rocket down the middle running on fairly well, but Elegancy at the 200 metre mark. Two in front. Over Bless with Reason. Then Ben's Rocket to the outside. Ah, too good the toppy. He's three in front now, Elegancy, and striding away from Bless with Reason. Codger Tate runs home on the fence. Elegancy and a canter to the post. Wins it about nearly three lengths. Tight for the miners. Blessed with reason or Codger Tate, who flashed up on the rail to be in a very close photo for the miner. Then Ben's Rocket from Jeremiah, followed by Top Edition. A pride of Indian last of all sounds positive. Number one, Elegancy. 210, 120. Photo for the miners. Three blessed with reason. 270. Two Codger Tate. 250. Elegancy. Number one, Elegancy, not brilliant away, just seemed to sprawl away from the gate, but uh, quickly got the, uh, the race and got control of the race here, Rodney Griffiths, and uh, left alone in front, he just speared away at the 450 metre mark and put uh, three lengths on them. And he's won, uh, I can't Rick say he was pricked because he had his ears laid well back uh, just about all the way to the line, starting to prick them up as he headed towards the post, had a good look at the winning post, but he had a big space on them. Quite uh, tight here for second. Uh, Blessed with Reason was going to hold it down right near the post cogitator's dive. Whether it's got there in time, I just don't know. Getting set Kuma. And sort of had it covered up. Number three is hang on for second. Yes, Blessed with Reason just from Cogitate, who uh, one more bound would have got second. So it's one, three, and two. One, three, and two here at Sandown after the six for the day. Favourite two, good elegancy, and he's now had uh, seven wins of the trip. Uh, from 23 tries, he's raced by uh, Leo Shemnitz. Okay, one lovely sunny afternoon and they're off and immediately Table Land Jack goes back to the tail of the field and Duck Tail is the early leader from La Scala, Largest Gay and Gold Pagoda. Unrehearsed whipping up into a prominent spot not far away is Yerim LeBeau and about two lengths almighty Prince Our Mr. Axman and Garen is over on the inside from Nanai Mo Fleet Mirage and Table Land Jack. They sort themselves out now as they race along past the thousand metres and Unrehearsed is the leader from Duck Tail. Largest K's wider followed two back by La Scala on the outside of Yurim Blabeau. Length and a half to Almighty Prince, followed on his outside Gold Pagoda, then Garen Nanai Mo, followed by our Mr. Axman, Tableland Jack and Fleet Mirage the tail ender. At the 700 metres and largest gay goes to the lead clearly, about three quarters unrehearsed. Ducktail in the third spot with 5.50 left to gallop and two or three Yurim Blabeau. A break La Scala hard ridden from Almighty Prince, Gold Pagoda Nanai Mo, then Garen our Mr. Axman from Fleet Mirage and Table Land Jack straightening for the run of the judge. Unrehearsed on the inside, race through to again take the lead narrowly from Largest K. Ducktail in the third spot, and then Nat Imo starting to rush down the outside to Fleet Mirage, and our Mr. Axman heads the remainder. They come to the 150, and Nat Imo strode away. Second posse, Fleet Mirage, and then our Mr. Axman, but it's all Nat Imo, and Nat Imo a comfortable winner, a length and a half. Fleet Mirage second, and the third spot to our Mr. Axman, followed by Garen. A break then to Largest K, Almighty Prince, Ducktail, and then came unrehearsed, drop right out. And the last quartet, Gold Pagoda, Tableland Jack with your Rimblebow and La Scala. Super tab number six there in uh, Sydney. Number six, Nanaimo, 1070 and 320. Eight Fleet Mirage to pay 290. Three, our Mr. Axman, three even. And he had the 20 on the runner-up. Number six Nanai Mo is paid nine dollars seventy and three dollars fifty. Nine seventy and three fifty. Number eight, Fleet Mirage, John Marshall second, three thirty. And number three, our Mr. Axman, John Powell, third has paid two dollars and forty cents. Six eight three. Strong win that. Nanai Mo trained by Bill Mitchell for Miss or Ms. Ariel Daniel at Envas. Obamia four Rory's just a coat Nord El Beasley. 
Fleet Mirage by Ken Mayer, Proud Tradition, Brown Gilding 4, Gay Waterhouse, Jay Marshall, and our Mr. Axman, Bay Gilding 4, Hemisphere, Cheops, Max Lees, John Powell. Fourth went to two Garen, margins one and a quarter, two and a half. One and a quarter, two and a half, and the time, this is the uh, electronic time, 123.05. 123.05. Prince Ferrishar holding the class record at 121.7. A comfortable win to the Bay Mayor Nanaimo. Race 6 at Randwick. More for Albany. Uh, I like the you missed it a bit. I like B, you missed it about two lengths out wide here in Napier Street, the Bergenstock first out. They don't want to leave though, Baha'i going up with Cyclone Watch and Red Rhythm when they settle down and our Playmaker pushing through at the centre. Baha'i just led Cyclone Watch, Napier Street, our Playmaker down by the winning post. He's railing up now on Napier Street going out of the straight at the 1800 metre mark to lead Baha'i. Our Playmaker third on the inside of Cyclone Watch. Been dancing, he's back and got on heels. Red Rhythm back on the outside of Navajo Flash from Logan Tenants of Bergenstock. I like be of three deep at last of all, Master Pelé, 1,600 out, and Napier Street in front today, but Bean Dancing allowed to stride around the outside, took up the running now, and Bean Dancing went to the front to the back now by a length, Napier Street, one to Baha'i. Cyclone Watch on the outside of our playmaker, a length for the back running six, Red Rhythm, one then to Navajo Flash, a half to I Like Beer is hanging on the outside of the Bergenstock, two to Locum Tenons and Master Pelé, last of all. Bean Dancing allowed them to roll along down the back of the 1,200 metre mark, out by a length now, Napier Street, Saddles moving on the rider, Napier Street, the rider in trouble now up on the horse's next second from Baha'i third, our playmaker fourth, a half then to Cyclone, watch from Red Rhythm, Navajo Flash the rail one and a half, I like B of the Bergenstock and then Master Palais and last of all is Locum Tenants, leaving the back straight now, they race to the 900 metre mark Bean Dancing three quarters in front difficult ride for this rider on uh, Napier Street on the outside, Brian Werner sitting right up on the horse's ears at the moment second, two lengths further back that our playmaker Baha'i, uh, there followed by Navajo Flash around the outside Cyclone Watch back behind them then I Like Beer around Red Rhythm waiting for a run to the Bergenstock ridden patiently from Locum Tenons and Master Pelé Saddles move but Napier Street goes up to Bean Dancing when they turn from Cyclone Watch Red Rhythm about to get out when they turn for home from our Playmaker in the straight 400 to go Napier Street grabbed by Red Rhythm here's the Bergenstock with a late run out in the middle of the track coming home well he sprints up to them now at the 250 metre mark going with him Red Rhythm they come away to fight it out, the Bergenstock, a neck in front of Red Rhythm coming back, the Bergenstock's a neck in front of Red Rhythm, then Locum Tenons with the Bergenstock's too good, and the Bergenstock wins a length, Red Rhythm, three lengths away, third Locum Tenons, then further back, Napier Street, a good run of the circumstances from I Like Be a Navajo Flash, Master Pelé, Cyclone Watch, Bean Dancing, our Playmaker, and behind. Number two, the Bergenstock, 280 and 130, three Red Rhythm, 150 and one Locum Tenons, $2.40. Number two, the Bergenstock, 280, the win 130, the place number three, Red Rhythm to return 150, and number one, Locum Tenons, 240. Has beaten Red Rhythm, who went with him, fought on very well. And the third number about to come up here after the running of race seven will go to one, but, uh, Locum Tenants, 231, 231 and 211.3. Although well, the saddle's gone forward on this one, the Napier Street about 1400 from home, he had no option but to let the horse run up on the outside. He joined the leaders turning for home on it, Napier Street, but oh gee, it had moved forward pretty badly. He was up on the horse's uh, ears over the last 800, Brian Werner, he had no option. And it's just behind the place, Gators. In fact, it's officially fifth. It's one to uh, keep in mind, Napier Street. In the last... Uh... They're racing. Good start, too. And Jack Attack, one of the best out. Square the circle, jumped out well and up, looking for the lead whiskey decanter with perfect harmony. And around the outside, Fox Road and Warrior Bard. And settling down, it's going to be Fox Road just in front now. From whiskey decanter, Warrior Bard, perfect harmony, light machine, man of the world off the track with Jack Attack. Then Square the circle, Carla Chief. Noble Park is next from Mobile Peter, attention getter. And last is Catalan Prince. They go to the first corner here at the 1100 metres. 
Thousand Fox Road leads nearly two lengths man of the world. Whiskey Decanter in the third spot from Warrior Bard and then Perfect Harmony. Racing on the inside of Jack Attack and then comes Light Machine from Carla Chief Square the Circle. Attention get a mobile Peter followed by Cattle and Prince and the favourite Noble Park is back at, th at the tail. I suppose he'd be about 12 lengths off the lead which is held by Fox Road and down past the 700. Fox Road a length and a half clear on Man of the World. Two and a half to Warrior Bard then Jack Attack. Whiskey Decanter over on the inside from Perfect Harmony. A gap then to making some ground around them. Square the circle with Light Machine. Attention getter. And Noble Park is next as they swing for home. And Fox Road at the 400 metres. About a length on Jack Attack. Third is Man of the World. Two further away is Square the Circle. On the extreme outside is Noble Park. Whiskey Decanter close to the inside. They're right across the track. Light Machine Square the Circle. And Noble Park join Jack Attack. And Fox Road is dropping off Jack Attack. Attack, Light Machine, Noble Park can't get them at the moment. Light Machine is still in front. Light Machine, a bolter. Light Machine. Light Machine beat Noble Park and Jack Attack from Catlin, Prince Carla Chief and Whiskey Decanter. A terrific finish, followed by Perfect Harmony, Fox Road, Moville, Peter. Attention, get a man of the world. Square the circle loomed up. It was a short-lived loom back amongst the tail end as he with Warrior Bard. Double pair of sixes, 317.50. Light Machine, strike me pink, 43. Three dollars, thank you, and eight dollars. Okay, number six there, Light Machine to return thirty-five dollars forty and six sixty. Number eight, Noble Park to return one forty and possibly eleven. Jack Attack for third, fourteen dollars. Six Light Machine. Let's have a look at the exact div. Forty-three dollars twenty and eight dollars. Number eight will be second. Um, Noble Park. Well, it only plugged down the straight, $1.20, and number 11, third jack attack, it'll pay $8.70. So it should be a very, very healthy trifecta. A seven-year-old bay mare light machine by Gleam Machine from Refulgence, trained by David Blundell at Gundagai for P. Leesburg, R.G. Carroll, L. Gilpin, and M. H. Hawker. Number eight is second, and the horse being Noble Park, Grey Gilding, four Carpstad, Frosting, Paul Perry, Glen Boss, and Jack Attack. Number 11, a Grey Gilding, eight, Sharur, Lady Genevieve, John Nichols, Craig Carmody. The official fourth went to one, Cattle and Prince. Six, eight, and 11 are the numbers in the Gold Coast. Turf Club Welter Handicap run in 137.02, well outside Vivacity's class record of 134.7. 137.02, winning margin three quarters of a length with a half neck between second and third, three quarters by half a neck. That's Sydney 7, and now it's time for Mail on Brisbane 7. Number one, spectacular. Okay, let's have a look.